The Kuiper Belt, also known as the Kuiper Edge Worth Belt, is a disc-shaped region found in the outer solar system, outside the orbit of Neptune. It extends from the orbit of Neptune at around 30 astronomical units, or AU, out to around 50 astronomical units from the Sun, and contains hundreds of millions of small icy bodies that are thought to be leftover material from the formation of the outer planets. This is the place where Pluto was found, and was reclassified to a dwarf planet due to being a member of this belt. We know you want to know more about this belt and hence we bring 10 interesting facts about the Kuiper Belt. Number 1. Kuiper Belt is a huge region beyond Neptune. The Kuiper Belt is one of the largest objects of our solar system. It begins at the orbit of Neptune at about 30 astronomical units or, in easy words, 30 times the distance between the Sun and Earth. The main region extends up to 50 astronomical units. This belt, however, should not be confused with the Oort cloud, which is farther and larger. Number 2. The Earth is more massive than the Kuiper Belt. The objects in the Kuiper Belt today make up no more than 10% of the mass of Earth. The shifting orbits of the four gas giants of the solar system might have caused these objects to be lost. The Kuiper Belt is slowly eroding away. There is occasional collision between objects of this huge belt, and many might have become comets. Number 3. Kuiper Belt Objects Have Moons A large number of Kuiper Belt objects possess moons, or other binary objects. Some examples include our dwarf planet Pluto, and others like Eris, Haumea, Quawa, etc. Number 4. Kuiper did not discover the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt is named after his apparent discoverer, Gerard Kuiper, who speculated objects beyond Pluto and published an article about the same in 1951. Kuiper's work didn't actually predict the populations of objects we observe in the region named for him, or crucially, their relationship with Neptune. But Kuiper and his ideas were well known among astronomers such that the general idea of the belt came to be attributed to him. Number 5. Astronomers realized they had discovered the belt after 62 years of actually discovering it. Howsoever astonishing this may sound, it is true. The astronomers found Pluto in 1930 which lied in the Kuiper belt but not being able to find any other object beyond it, they thought that it was a lone planet, despite its oddly elliptical and tilted orbit. Later, after 62 years, another Kuiper belt object was discovered, and it finally led to the recognition that Pluto was far from being alone out there. Number 6. Comets come from the Kuiper Belt. This huge belt is one of the sources of comets, as it is slowly eroding due to collision of its objects that result in comets being formed. Neptune's gravity can push these objects towards the Sun's direction, while Jupiter can further can capture them into short loops of 20 years or less. These are known as Jupiter family comets. According to researchers, some asteroids near the Earth are actually burnt comets and most of them started in the Kuiper Belt. Number 7. The Kuiper Belt is torus-shaped. The Kuiper Belt is very thick, and the main population of objects extend to about 10 degrees on either side of the ecliptic plane, with the rest of the area having a diffused population. In general, the Kuiper Belt is inclined with respect to the ecliptic by 1.86 degrees, and looks more like a torus or donut-like, than a flat belt or ring. Number 8. The classical Kuiper Belt has two distinct populations. The classical Kuiper Belt extends from 42 to 45 AUs and is populated by two distinct collection of objects. The first, called the cold population has objects with nearly circular orbits which are generally inclined with respect to the ecliptic by less than 10 degrees. The second being known as the hot population, consists of objects that have orbits that can be inclined by as much as 30 degrees or sometimes more. These names, however, have no relation with their surface temperatures. Number 9. Neptune captured its largest moon Triton from the Kuiper Belt. 
Since Neptune's Triton is only 14% larger than Pluto, and also appears to have a similar composition, it is agreed by astronomers that Neptune might have captured this Kuiper Belt object while it migrated farther from the Sun. Current speculations also state that Triton was part of a binary system, and after it no longer remained a part of the belt, the other object was also expelled from the system. Sounds like some sort of governmental structure, doesn't it? Number 10. The Kuiper Belt Ends in a Cliff A theory predicts that the number of objects bigger than 100 kilometers in size should increase two times, but no such increase has been observed. In fact, this area resembles a cliff, beyond which very few objects of any appreciable size exist, and has since its discovery become known as the Kuiper Cliff. Moreover, Bernstein, Trilling, etc., all have found compelling evidence that, the drop-off in the number of large objects is not due to observational bias, but to date, nobody has yet proposed a credible mechanism that can explain the Kuiper Cliff. That was all about Kuiper Belt. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel, Explified.